So the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT reached my lab and instead of doing a full review of this graphics card which you guys have seen all over the place, you know, I decided to do something different. I happen to have a rig with my really really ancient Ryzen 7 1800XC, so ancient that I paused a while to say the name because I actually was thinking of the name, haha. <laughs> so that was probably the first Ryzen in Malaysia, the one I got it from AMD directly when it was launched, the first ever Ryzen. So it's a Ryzen 7 1800X and a pair it with a DDR4 3200MHz and I wanted to see how it holds up or should I say hold back when using it with the AMD Radeon. 9070 XT and without further ado let's dive into the benchmarks so you see the benchmark right now the 9070 with the 1800X is at about 100 fps so without a proper reference you wouldn't know whether how far the bottleneck is and we'll talk about this later on now I paired the Ryzen 7 1800X with a RX 6600 so as you can see at 1080p the 6600 and the 9070 XT is very close in performance so clearly something is being held back and it is clearly that the CPU is holding back the 9070 XT. Now once we head over to the 4K resolution, you will see that the 9070 XT still holds ground at above 100 frames per second while the RX 6600 goes all the way down to about one third the performance simply because it's 4K and at 4K UHD resolution what happens is that it's GPU bound but just how much of its GPU bound is it? So let's head over to the next benchmark this time I paired the 9070 with the Ryzen 7 7700 not the X, not the 7800 X3D and all that so this will show you how a newer generation CPU perform and even so, I believe this is not the maximum yet. After all, this is an old game and it can actually be faster on the 7800X3D which I don't want to do that. I want to use the 7700 instead. Looking at the benchmark score, you see that at 1080p, the frame rate is vastly different with the Ryzen 7 7700 and the DDR5 6000MHz CL30. It can do far more so you can see how much a bottleneck is the Ryzen 7 1800X on the 9070 XT. Now when you head to the 4K UHD resolution, you see that the 9070 XT is still being held back by the 1800X and the performance is just about 80% of what you would expect. And with that, I hope this video is clear. I know it's just one game title, I do not have the time to go through all the game titles but it's sufficient to show you that even at 4K UHD resolution, a CPU can still hold back the GPU. And at 1080p, definitely you need a CPU because at 1080p, it's often more CPU bound. So either way, when you are using a latest generation graphics card, even a 9070, we are not even touching 5080. I know some of you are going to say 5080 is very close by. Yes, indeed. 5080, 5090. Regardless, even if you are using something less than that, when you are using a newer generation graphics card of a certain range, it's best to have your system to be using a CPU of a more modern generation. Even if I were to use a Ryzen 5 5600, for example, I have one, I haven't tested on the, the, this uh, GPU. Even so, I think it will hold back because for a powerful graphics card like this, definitely I recommend going for something along the AMD AM5 range of CPU to get the best out of your performance. With that said, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.